Hey, Addie, what's up? I'm not interrupting anything, right? Nothing much. Just got home from work. How was that? Fine. Same as any other day. How's Chris? He's good. He's just in the basement right now playing some games with his friends online. Oh, that's really exciting. <laughs> Shut up. He likes them. What's the problem with that? No, nothing. No issues here. It's just he does that a lot. He doesn't get sick of spending his whole Sunday doing the same thing with them. He works hard. He can unwind how he wants. I like my me time anyway. What's the big deal? Nothing, nothing. Sure. Oh, how's Costello, by the way? I'm sorry. I should have asked for an update before. It's okay. He's a lot better. My little old man. Did Chris come to the vet? No, he forgot to request time off work. So, just me and Costello. Of course. <laughs> yeah, it was annoying, but mistakes happen. But this isn't the first time you forgot. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but is married life going well? <laughs> It's been great. Couldn't be happier. How's Tyler? He's good. Not much going on, but good. So, what do you want to tell me? Your text before said you have news. Is Chris able to hear? Probably not. He usually wears headphones. Give me one sec. Hey, Chris! I'm leaving to get cigarettes and I'm never coming back. Yeah, we're good. He strangely hates that joke and he would have yelled if he heard me. So what's the news? You remember that job opportunity I got a few months back? The uh, promotion. Yeah, I had an interview for it. So? I got the job. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. Thanks. Oh, when do you start? Next week. I'm so proud of you. You've been working so hard. You absolutely deserve this. What is it? It's in the Chicago office. Chicago? Yeah. Are you going to take it? I think I should. It's a great opportunity. It's pretty far. I'd miss you. I'd really miss you, too. How does Tyler feel about the move? I haven't told him yet. Scared to? Kind of. I think he'll be happy for you. You've worked really hard for this. Yeah. I don't know if I want him to come with me. What? I don't know. H have things been bad? Not really. It's how it always is. Well, then what's the issue? Blair. I don't understand. You love Tyler. You guys have been together longer than me and Chris. Tyler is an amazing guy. He's kind and loyal and reliable. There's so much to love about him, and I really do, but... I want to be with you. It's terrible, but it's true. You don't mean that. You're just scared of the big move. He's not you. I don't understand. Did you ever feel anything after that night? I'm not talking about this. I think we should. No, we shouldn't. Why not? 
because I don't want to. That night was special for me. That night was a mistake. It was? Yes, it was. We did a terrible thing then, and it would still be a terrible thing now. Was it? I'm not going to explain this to you again. We were young, drunk, and stupid. I don't want to talk about it ever again. Well, I do. Why? What does that night have to do with any of this? Because it never got better for me. That night at the park changed my life. I've never felt anything the way that I do when I'm with you. I try to forget about it to make things easier, but it's been hard. And I thought you'd want it that way too. No one has ever seen me the way you do. You did. And I'm done having that as just a memory. I can't touch the past. I can feel the lies when I'm with Tyler and you've always been my truth. I'm leaving in the morning. I want you to come with me. I can't just leave. Why the hell not? Because I'm married to Chris. We have a life together. Does he make you happy? What does that matter here? It always matters. I saw that face you made when I brought his name up. I can tell when you're lying. Don't treat me like I'm anyone else. No one else knows why you can't drink martinis. Come on now. What do you want me to say? And don't come at me with the martini shit. You stop doing things too. You made this weird. <sighs> what I want you to say is how you feel. Just give me some closure. That night was special for me too. Is that what you want to hear? It was something I wasn't expecting after a night of too many drinks, but that was six years ago. Yes, it was special. I was honestly hoping that we'd figure it out, but we can't hold on to bad timing. Now can be good timing. It's not what I'm saying. You could be. <laughs> Things with Chris are good enough right now. We fight like any couple, but I made a vow. We make it work. We don't even interact past dinner. We eat, talk about our days, and go our separate ways. He'll sometimes come and check on me, but it's never special. It's like we may be a room apart, but he feels like he's cities away. but we make it work. Good enough should never be what you settle for. Coming from you right now. I'm done being unhappy for other people's happiness and so should you. There was a night you said if a moment came, you would abandon everything to have that moment again. That's now. I will do what I can to finally be with you. I'm not afraid anymore. I love you, Addison. I always have and I always will. I'm just not scared to tell you. You never said that you loved me before. I didn't know how you'd react. Blair. I just can't. I'm sorry. There was a day that I loved you. I would have gotten wherever you wanted me to go, but I can't do that anymore.
Do you still love me? I'm sorry, Blair. Can I ask you something? And I won't ask about this ever again. Bye. Did you ever tell Chris? God, no. I'm scared to know what that fight would be like. Did you ever tell Tyler? No. You really think of that night as a mistake? I don't know. I'm just upset. I didn't mean to upset you. It's fine. I'm sorry. I'm confused. I've been holding that in for years. I know what you mean. I'm sorry, too. I do think about it. Maybe more often than I should, and sometimes in places that I shouldn't. So, you want to go get some cigarettes? <laughs>